Well, students, we're gonna finish up these Pazanki eggs today. If you are a person who still needs to trace any of your lines or color any of your shapes, I would like you to do that. So it looks like this one just needs a little bit of outlining. Make sure you're down low on your crayon so you can press this on hard. You can see I'm gonna go back and forth on the line. That's gonna create a barrier of wax between the paint that we use on the egg and the background. So you would make sure to get those outlined, do the same thing over here. Once you have those last few outlined, I would like you to just check to make sure that your lines are traced and your shapes are colored. So here, Just make sure that this is a line, so we're gonna trace it. This is a line, so we trace it. And then I would just do the same thing over there. This looks kind of like a shape, so we're gonna color it. And just press it on hard. Trace your lines, color your shapes. We're gonna, and just remember not to color the whole egg because then you won't have anything to paint. So trace your lines, color your shapes. Let's move over to this one. This one has all the lines traced. So you can see all my lines are traced and these are rectangle shapes, so I colored them. If you're a person who's already painting, then you just are going to keep painting. Please remember to use, um, more than one color, like I wouldn't just do blue, 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 blue for everything. Make sure you're using a variety of colors. Rinse off your brush, please don't splash it or bang it, just dip it in, rinse it off. And listen to my brush. Just make sure you're very gentle. Um, even though the wax crayon will resist the paint, I am gonna be careful not to paint over everything. Now I'm not gonna do that blue because I wanna make sure that I'm using a pattern and then I'm gonna paint that something else. Oh, I was starting to hear my brush make a little bit of a sound. So that means I need a little more water or a little more paint. You really don't need to ever dip your brush all the way in when you're using one color. So like when I use this blue and I go in to get more blue, I just get just a little bit of water on the end. Now I'm not going to switch to another color yet because I'm gonna make both of these ones match. So we'll move over here and we'll paint this one in. started to hear it just a little bit, so I'll get a little more water, a little more paint. So just kind of painting a line, picking up your brush, painting a line. So paint a line, pick up my brush, paint a line, pick up my brush. Then I'm not scratching it like that on the paper because that could tangle up my brush, and that's where I'm gonna hear it make sounds. Now once I have all the blue done, then we'll pick another color. I'm trying to think of colors that I haven't used a lot of. So it does not look like I have used a ton of, I don't know, I've used green just a couple of times. Let's do some green on this too. One thing I'm gonna tell you too is that there is black paint here. I do wanna make sure that I don't use black until the very end because if I use black before, then I'm gonna end up, my brush is gonna get pretty dirty. I was noticing that because I did do a little bit of black here before I made this example, 
And my brush, even though I kept rinsing it and rinsing it, it was not getting very clean and it was making my green look a little bit dirty. So don't use any black until the very end. I just switched brushes so that that wouldn't happen. So we're gonna save black for the very end so that your bright colors stay bright. Now, once you have everything painted, then we're gonna work on the background and we're gonna use the color wheel to do the background. So here, there are a few different ways to do the background. With the color wheel, you could pick two colors that are next to each other. Like I could do orange and mix it with yellow or yellow and mix it with green or green and mix it with blue. Since there's not purple paint, you can do blue and pink, it will turn it purple. Um, and you can do red and pink. Since there's not purple paint, red and pink would work. Um, red and orange work. And you can also do the primary colors where the solid line is. I could do red and yellow, it will make orange. Yellow and blue will make green. And instead of red and blue, just talked about red and pink. And that's what I'm gonna do for my background. Red and pink will work the best, or um, sorry, pink and blue will work the best to make purple. So here, I'm gonna do the blue first, and I'm gonna go around all of these shapes. So you wanna make sure the whole thing's painted. The only reason this is not painted is because I'm gonna make that black. And we're gonna save black for the last thing. So paint around everything. Once I paint around those, we'll move over here, paint around these. So I'm really just creating an outline Then, as I'm seeing this blue, I'm, I know I said I'd do blue and pink and make it purple. As I look at this blue, I almost wanna mix blue and green and make it a blue green. I think that could be kinda a nice color too. So use the color wheel, figure out two that'll work. Just make sure you're not mixing two that are far away from each other. Like I wouldn't do blue and orange because those ones aren't next to each other on the color wheel, they're not connected by a solid line on the color wheel as the primary colors either. And so like blue and orange would not work. So once you outline everything, then I'm going to maybe use just a little bit of water to kind of put a little bit of this blue into these white spaces. So I might just fill a little bit in. I don't wanna to do too much though, because I want some of the purple to be darker in areas and some lighter to do a little bit of shading. So the reason it looks like this right now is actually because I want to, when I take my pink, which I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna mix it in so it's gonna be a lighter purple there and it's gonna be darker where there's more blue. So. I'm gonna take this, we'll add a little bit of pink to it. You're gonna see right away that it starts to make it purple. Where there's more blue, it's a darker purple. Where there's less blue, it's a lighter purple. Still trying to be careful not to have a scratchy brush. And you can see when I put my brush in there, that started to turn the pink purple. So if you notice that happening, the mixing really should take place on your paper. The mixing should not be happening here. So if you notice that happening, wipe off your brush, make sure that this is staying clean. And often just a little bit of water will help spread this out. Now, one other thing that I like to do is once I have it all painted, and it's okay if you get a little bit of paint on the table. Once I have it all painted, I am gonna come back with a little bit of blue and do just a little more outlining to make it a little bit darker in some spots. I'm trying to clean that off. I noticed it was getting a little bit purple again. Because if someone's trying to make another color with their pink, you don't wanna make this pink change color for them. And then we'll go here. Being careful not to paint on my other, my egg designs. So I do want to come back and just add a little bit more blue 
and make some of this a little bit darker just around the edges to make it a really dark purple. So you can always come back to the first color that you used. I think that just kind of helps that shading. Because in my opinion, I think that looks a lot better. So it's darker on the edges and the light, lighter in between them. If you have a lot of extra time, we can even do some mixing on the eggs, but I'll save that for a moment. Um, we said black would be last. So I'm gonna switch to this other brush a sec. You'll be able to use your own brush, but here we'll get these outlines done. And if you want an area to be black, like I'm gonna do here, we would save that for the very end. So you can use a little bit of black, rinse off my brush. You can hold the cup just so it doesn't tip over. Use more paint, less water, and you can see why it's hard to wash it off my brush. If you notice, that is a lot of black. It's super dark. So if it's not real dark, then you should, and it looks more gray, then just let it dry, and then you can put another layer of paint on it and make it more black. Now, if you get everything done and everything looks like your best, you can go back and do a little bit of mixing. Um, so here you can see I've already done that. I used the color wheel again. So I did yellow and green on this to make a yellow green. Um, I think that's the only place that I have mixed so far. If you ended up using black and you can't rinse off your brush, raise your hand, I'll give you a different one. But like this red, maybe I'm gonna do red. Red is next to orange. And I could do a little bit of mixing here too. So if you have extra time, please don't tell me you're done. You only wanna do these in spots where it's dry. So if it's not dry, I would wait for it to dry a little bit so you don't end up having your paint kind of bleed and mix together. Um, I might do some um, red and pink. Red and pink work well together. So put those two together and add your mixes to other areas too, but you don't have to do mixing everywhere. That's just if you have time. We'll do that over here too. So let's have fun working on these and we'll be able to get them painted and get some uh, get mixing in the background and maybe a little bit of mixing on your eggs too. This is, this is one of my favorite colors to do, like do some yellow on my green and brighten it up a little bit. Um, so you can always do that. Don't wanna forget that color because I love that. But I wouldn't put blue on this green because then I'd have blue, blue. So think about that as you're working as saying, well, if this, if blue and green are next to each other, that works. But if I have blue right there, then maybe I'm gonna do yellow green instead. And then with the blue, maybe I just leave the blue blue because then if I did blue and pink, I would end up have purple purple. So just be thoughtful with how you're doing this to make sure that um, you're using a variety of color. Let's have fun finishing these up today.